Good morning, people. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, before I get into what I want to talk about, I want to say a prayer today for humanity. Um, as most of y'all know, Russia has invaded Ukraine. And um, what we have is um, a real volatile situation. Um, I am really, really just... Just, just really concerned for the human family. Um, there have been missiles, you know, Vladimir Putin threatens to use nuclear warfare. And this is Donald Trump's best friend. And um, is America and Russia going to be the same? I, I don't know. Uh, you know what? All I know is some of these people are a problem. These people are a problem. They are a problem. These elite nuts are a problem. And we basically don't even have to go with how they look. Um, because this is just diabolical. Um, the evilness. Of the Europeans is just, I mean, just take you back to the berserkers, don't it? Okay, now I can get into the real conversation. What I want to talk about, um, I am very concerned about Russia and what's going on when white people get out of control. Um, this this shit crazy. I don't understand how anything else is really uh, taking president. If y'all know, we ain't gonna have no world nuclear. Catastrophe is a bound, and everybody got it. Now, see, you know this; these people don't care about destroying humanity. That's why I said they devils. Most indigenous people to the earth want to preserve the earth. Most people who got a soul want to preserve it. These people are in love with power, and it is truly. Truly a devastating thing when you watch Satan operate. The so Satan in operation is what you're watching. Okay? So I don't want to stay here because uh, I want to know what y'all think about that. Um, this Russia shit because this is not cool. You know, it's just not cool. And They've shot off missiles. They don't care what the U.S. say. I mean, whew, Lord have mercy. White people, white people. Y'all need to get y'allself together. Y'all so violent. <laughs> Man, it's like the Vikings and the Berserkers. And I guess when y'all got yourselves together and decided to come up with a plan and take over for the indigenous, y'all four European countries and nations that take over the um, Africans, the Africans' worst nightmare is that they uh, trusted any kind of alliance with you, any kind, because it has led to a disaster and your ability to try to run and ruin the world. Oh, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there with this. But I'm going to continue on the white man and his lies, okay? Because that I'm not going to stop. Because this is what y'all need to know. All of y'all who talk about I'm divesting and all this kind of stupid shit. Do y'all know who y'all dealing with? If you're not dealing with somebody that has humanity in their heart, regardless of their color, then you're dealing with a demonic energy. Most of them hate you because you black. They don't love you because you black. They put their arms around you, call your pineal gland, try to double it as much as they possibly can, put their arms around you to suck your energy, and y'all don't even get it. 
You don't even understand. We got to start understanding, though. And this is what is driving us crazy, okay? They are dulling down who we are, what we are, and we believe them. They have found methods to, to, to and ways to dilute, or should I say dull our pineal glands. And then you have the nerve to sit up here and know they doing all this experiments. This is for black stupid people right now. Doing all this experience experiments on us. They've been doing them from slavery. Ingesting shit in the foods. Putting stuff in our bodies. Injecting us with all kinds of chemicals. And then y'all got the nerve to turn against people because y'all say they gay. Or turn against somebody because this... Listen, in a war like this, you need all hands on deck. And you're going to have to draw a line in the sand. What is humanity and what is straight up foolishness, ignorance? And trying to talk about people's sexuality and all that kind of stuff is really stupid when you have a situation where this enemy is trying to dominate all of us. African continent as well. They have already. So now you got black strong leaders coming out or, or, or leaders in African countries who understand who we are now. Who have fought back against colonialism and who are the sons and the daughters of the uh, of the of the African who sold us out and their country out and the uh, just the um, advance metrop metropolis of Africa that they need to feed off of. We've allowed everybody to come in and take everything that God has given us. As the first people on the earth. I ain't going to get in to say whether we the best people on the earth. Some people say we the extraterrestrial. Terrestrial. Do you know that? You can't go back and trace the history of black people. Because there is none. It go too far back. Y'all better wake up. And so once we understand who we are. We going to shut down who the fuck they are. Because they don't give a damn about destroying this world that God made for us. And he made us into tribes and families that I, we may get to know one another. Okay? Not and be antagonistic. Not to try to kill each other. Uh-uh. 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 Black family. Black family. This is what this devil is doing now. Because... He's trying to whitewash all the history. That's why they don't want to talk in school. Y'all going to let them do this? Y'all going to let them erase us out of history? Are we that weak? Are we that blind that we can't see that they trying to extinct us? Trying to write us off the annals. But you can't kill God. You just can't. Whenever you get through. Yeah, I said it. Look at all your ancient gods. The Greek gods. Go back and look and see what color they all were. And who did everybody worship. The black and the woolly hair. And tell you what color Jesus was right in the Bible. Y'all don't want to read. You don't want to. These people have succeeded. In taking away. Your glory. Your beauty. Your divinity. Matter of fact. To the point. I want to share this with y'all. Listen to this y'all. This is white and black people talking. White supremacy. White people destroyed Egyptian monuments. That looked too black. White people started separating Egypt from Africa. As if it was two different places. White people started making Egyptians look white. And then when people started pointing out that Egyptians were in fact African, 
they started trying to make it seem like the pyramids were built by aliens because they did not want the modern white world to know how advanced the African culture was. Do you know why they won't teach us the history of Egypt? After you have shackled and enslaved the people, branded, castrated, lynched, burned, and tortured them, you called them three-fifths of a man, subspecies, an ape, a monkey, and a general inferior creation, how can we then admit that they are our teachers and the ones who gave us civilization? How can we admit that we descended from Greece and from Rome, and that Greece and Rome stole everything, everything they knew from Egypt? Some of these things you might already know, but not everybody know, hence why I'm bringing it to the channel. So, let's go. Did you know that white people used to worship black statues? Negroes were first worshipped in Greece and Rome. Yes. White masses bowed down to black deities. The rites of Apollo were founded by Delphos and his Negro mother, Melinus, and the worship of black Isis and Horus were popular in Rome and the Roman colonies as far north as Britain. It was actually, in ancient Rome, it was actually common for the Romans to make fun of their own gods, but to worship and respect um, Horus and Isis, which, by the way, Madonna and Jesus. But we'll get to that. Because um, the worship of Black Isis and Horus uh, existed as far north as Britain, but eventually this evolved into the worship of the Black Madonna and the Black Christ. Christian whites also bowed down to them. Negroes, as was said, were deified in early Greece. They appeared as gods in Greek mythology. The chief title of Zeus, the greatest of the Greek gods, was Ethiopes, which means black. The earliest of gods and messiahs on all continents were black. We have found the black complexion or something relating to it whenever we have approached the origin of nations. The alma mater, the goddess, the founder of the oracles, the memnon, or the first idols, always black. The pyramids, by the way. The faces on the pyramids, they chipped the noses away so it would be less apparent. They were black too. Thus the oracles at Dodona and the Apollo at Delphi were founded by the black doves. Oresis and his bull were black. All the gods, gods and goddesses of Greece were black, at least it was in the case of Jupiter, Bacchus, Hercules, Apollo, Amon, the goddesses Venus, Isis, Hecate, Juno, Metis, Circe, Sibyl were black. And the first gods in antiquity were black. Zeus, Apollo, Osiris, Isis, Buddha, Horus, they just keep going. In the Bible, the ancient days, God was described as having hair like the pure wool. The earliest deities were woolly-haired Negroes. Their peppercorn hair was a sign of divinity. Did you know that the Pope's private chapel has a black Jesus in it? They show in the Pope worshiping black Jesus. Now, what in the world? Most people don't even know that. Most people don't even know that when the Pope go to his special chamber and get down on his knees, he's worshiping the black Madonna. Black Jesus and Black Mary. Y'all got to understand that they twisted the whole world. I mean, everything that you think. And they had to do that in order to make a world of white supremacy. Y'all can't believe this devil. We got you got you can't believe it. You gotta and you cannot allow them to do what they doing in the schools. Teach it to your children when they come home. Shout it from the mountaintops who we really are. Don't let them try to minimize our deity and make their evilness superior. Because they are devilish and evil. Anybody that will concoct that to try to wipe people out of history are evil. If you down for writing me out of the history books and out of the annals of history, out of the tablets and obelisks of life, you are evil. You are demonic. And ain't no other way around that. Y'all know it? Teach it to your children, black and white, what the truth really is. You got to teach them. You got to teach them what the truth really is. And let me ask y'all one more thing. One more thing, one more thing. 
What would make y'all think if they lied about all this shit? Everything you see, even from who the presidents was, what color everybody is, everybody black, except, and they made them white, okay? From Abe Lincoln down to everybody, everybody who's black. Y'all don't know, y'all wasn't there, y'all don't remember. All you can do is find old literature and read it. And when they say, oh, Abe Lincoln had dark skin and thick, woolly, thick hair, thick curl, what does that mean? Y'all got to recognize some of this stuff. But see, we don't read because they trained the slave not to read. And we are the sons and the daughters of the slaves. And we don't want to read shit. Excuse my language. We don't want to read a damn thing. We going to have to get this history thing straight. Okay, because as the new world come along, if you afraid to identify who you are and it ain't just I'm black, I'm black. What's up, brother? I'm black. Not all of that. It needs to be addressed on a deeper level of who you are, who you are spiritually, because once you realize who you are spiritually, all this demonic evil stuff that the slave master done taught you will dissipate out of your spirit. It would dissipate because you would know every time you engage in it, you ain't doing it but being nothing but a damn slave. And who want to purposely be a slave? Be purposely enslaved? No, y'all. We got to do better. We got to do better. Listen to this. Let's finish going. So I thought I should add a little bit of picture slide in there so you guys could see. You know, it's very interesting that they do this over there, but they promoted whiteness here. You don't find it suspicious? <laughs> they know the truth about you, that they don't want you to know about yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in as much as presently, there is still Black Madonna and Black Jesus they images. They know the in truth the about you, but they don't want you to know um, about yourself. I have a strong feeling that that's going to change. I mean, it's changing already. They are changing most of these images. Um, yeah, because um, these people are getting more aggressive. They are more, um, you know, adamant about keeping the lies. Yeah, so it, it is going to get worse. That's why we do need to know. So even though they change these things, we already have it here and we can pass it on to our children. We know how important it is for this information to be passed on to the kids, right? For those people that are going to say color doesn't matter. If you want to keep believing it doesn't matter, Okay, but well, one thing I would say, it mattered enough for them to want to change it. If it didn't matter, they wouldn't change it. So probably you should put that in your mind, you know, when you're saying it doesn't matter. And also the truth matters. So do you care about the truth or you care about your comfort position? Because I do understand that information like this can, you know, kind of shake your whole world. Yes, it shook mine too. And also we should think about what... Um, they've used the white ones to do okay yeah so i'm just going to get out of you guys here and, and let the video play in early christian art jesus is almost invariably represented as black skinned the hebrews were dark-skinned people his feet were like burnt brass revelation his hair was like wool revelation so black who's Whoopi goldberg black apologizing to herself black. they are black jeremiah look not upon me because i am black solomon Joseph, the Jewish historian, wrote that Christ was a man of simple appearance, mature age, dark skin with little hair. And the earliest statues of the Virgin Mary were also black. Everything was stolen from Egypt. Do you know why they won't teach us the history of Egypt? Why? After you have shackled and enslaved a people, branded, castrated, lynched, burned, and tortured them, you called them three-fifths of a man subspecies, an ape, a monkey, and a general inferior creation, how can we then admit that they are our teachers and the ones who gave us civilization? How can we admit that we descended from Greece and from Rome and that Greece and Rome stole everything, everything they knew from Egypt? How? Y'all hear that? That's a white woman talking to you. 
That's a that's a white a color white woman. But that's a woman who loves humanity. That is a woman I would be proud to call my sister. She get it. Y'all better wake up because a lot of y'all Negroes don't get it. All skin folk ain't kin folk because they've been they they believe the lie. They can't they can't accept the cognitive dissonance is too deep. But you got to be willing to go down that road. And it hurts. But you got to be willing to go down that road. All right. All right, people, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe. I, I know I got to get off of here, but this is the um, first time I've used this premiere. So I am sitting here in the um, comment section, and I like what I'm seeing. Um, meaning uh, I like how this works. I think I can use this a little more now, this feature. Let's finish. There's no room in a white supremacist psyche for black contributions to civilization or world progress. This reaches too far into the consciousness of the so-called objective white scholars of academia and their black-skinned counterparts. This is like asking a Nazi to accept the Jewish origins of Nazism and of Hitler, if that were the case. They couldn't accept it if it were true any more than the white supremacists can accept the African origins of civilization, the African origins of Christianity, the African origins of science, the African origins of everything. Philosophy originated in Egypt. Math originated in Egypt. Theology originated in Egypt. Philosophy originated in Egypt. Letters originated in Egypt. Everything started there. Huh. They were as ancient to the Romans as the Romans now are to us. And that's what we don't really understand because Thank we you. live now. We don't really understand that the pyramids are 5,000 years old and that the Romans only date back two and a half thousand years. Like, really think about that. So that's the world we live in. A world alive. A world alive. I'm reading from J. California Cooper's book, The Wake of the Wind. I am Africa. I am a place. I am a state of mind. Hundreds of years ago, my children lived free. We had our skirmishes within my shores. Even small wars that did not disturb my great and sprawling land. We were not perfect, but we never lift our shores to seek to destroy or rob any other culture or people. Thank to you. steal the fruit of their land or Thank mines you. and leave the land and people ravaged. Nor did we seek to steal any people's love of themselves, nor tell other people they were ignorant savages and inferior while we were superior, as the white ones said to us. They lied so much and longed to begin to believe it themselves. They cried God with their mouths while holding a knife in one hand and a gun in the other, slicing and firing at vibrant life. They also brought with them other diseases, including endless greed, envy, and hate. Our nations changed. They killed for land, women, or gold, spreading their savageness to all others. And now, they have influenced others. Anathema. Absolutely. How do we repair debt to black people? White supremacy. White people destroyed Egyptian monuments that looked too black. White people started separating Egypt from Africa as if it was two different places. White people started making Egyptians look white. And then when people started pointing out that Egyptians were in fact African, they started trying to make it seem like the pyramids were built by aliens because they did not want the modern white world to know how advanced the African culture was. Why do you think they targeted Africa for slaves in the first place? This was all about implementing white supremacy. Take a look at what they did to Jesus Christ. That man ain't white, but they made him white and they forced that white Jesus onto people of color just to further perpetuate the white supremacist agenda. Hello, hello. Once you hear the truth, what do the truth do? The truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Now, come on. Let's don't let's don't play games and pussyfoot around with it anymore. I don't want to play games with nobody about who black people are. Okay, and we got to stop all this begging, begging for our birthrights. 
I'm just saying. I really do believe that. I could be alone, but I believe it. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right now so I can um, work on the next video. I just wanted to get this out because it's been bothering my heart. And to check out this premium, I mean this premiere, and see how this works. Okay, family, please like what you hear. Please hit that notification button so I, you can get a video when I drop one. Please support me on Patreon. Go over to Patreon for a, a, a measly fear of fee of five dollars. You can join the Patreon, um, and where we do live streams over there because we can talk about what we want to talk about. I would like to see you over there. If you want to donate to the channel, please. You see the button is down there. Join two dollars. I think is the uh, uh, minimum. But you could donate whatever you like. I would every whatever you donate is greatly appreciated. It helps us over here uh, with content. It helps me with equipment, and it also helps me keep in touch. Okay, so whatever y'all donate, I would really appreciate, and I thank you very much for being out there. I thank you very much for listening. Okay, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Okay, family.